In 2017, a pioneering study was published that significantly advanced our understanding of Neanderthals, an ancient, sadly now extinct species closely related to us. This study was groundbreaking because it utilized a relatively new approach, the analysis of ancient DNA extracted from Neanderthal dental plaque. Dental plaque, which is essentially the buildup of bacteria and food residue on teeth, becomes calcified over time, turning into a hard substance known as dental calculus. This calcified plaque serves as a time capsule, preserving genetic material and other substances trapped within it over tens of thousands of years. The researchers in this study meticulously extracted and analyzed the DNA from the dental calculus of Neanderthal remains. These remains were sourced from several key archaeological sites across Europe, including the famous El Cidron Cave in Spain and the Spy Cave in Belgium. By sequencing the DNA preserved in the plaque, the team was able to identify not only what Neanderthals ate, but also gain insight into their health and, most importantly, their interactions with other species, notably Homo sapiens. One of the most striking findings was the identification of a shared microbe in the mouths of both Neanderthals and early Homo sapiens. This particular microbe's genetic divergence was dated to a period significantly later than the last known common ancestor of both species. This suggested that there was a transfer of oral microbiota between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens, indicating a level of interaction that was more intimate and frequent than previously understood. The results of this study not only provided unprecedented insights into the diet and health of Neanderthals, revealing details such as their consumption of plant-based foods and even self-medication practices, but also opened up new avenues in understanding the complex web of interactions and relations between different human species in prehistoric times. This research marked a significant leap forward in the field of paleogenetics and human evolutionary studies, offering a more nuanced view of our ancient relatives and their interactions with our own ancestors. Dental plaque, also known as dental calculus, is a remarkable repository of historical information, particularly when it comes to understanding the lives of ancient humans and hominins like Neanderthals. This calcification effectively seals and preserves the contents of the plaque, turning it into a fossilized record of an individual's oral environment. One of the most valuable aspects of dental calculus is its ability to preserve microscopic particles of food. By analyzing these remnants, scientists can reconstruct the dietary habits of ancient peoples. This is especially significant in the case of species like Neanderthals, where direct evidence of diet is scarce. For instance, the presence of starch granules or bits of plant fiber can indicate the consumption of specific vegetables or grains, while residues of meat or fish provide evidence of protein sources in their diet. Beyond diet, dental plaque can also preserve traces of bacteria and other microorganisms that inhabited the mouth. This microbiome offers insights into the health and disease of ancient populations. For instance, certain types of bacteria are associated with dental diseases like cavities and periodontal disease. The presence or absence of these bacteria can inform us about the oral health of individuals and, by extension, their overall well-being. Moreover, dental calculus can sometimes contain microscopic particles of non-food materials like pollen, which can be incredibly informative. Pollen trapped in dental plaque can reveal information about the environment in which an individual lived, including the types of plants that were present and, consequently, the climate and ecosystem of the time. The analysis of dental calculus is a complex process, often involving advanced techniques like DNA sequencing, stable isotope analysis, and scanning electron microscopy. 
These methods allow researchers to identify the specific types of food and microorganisms preserved in the calculus and to reconstruct aspects of an individual's diet, health, and environment with remarkable precision. The 2017 study's examination of ancient DNA in Neanderthal dental plaque led to several key findings, with one of the most significant being the discovery of a microbe common to both Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. This discovery was pivotal because it provided a direct genetic link between the two species. It indicated a shared aspect of oral microbiology between these two distinct human species. The genetic analysis of this microbe revealed that its divergence between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens occurred around 120,000 to 150,000 years ago. This timeline is particularly significant because it is much later than the last common ancestor of the two species, which is believed to have existed over 450,000 years ago. The timing of this divergence suggests that Neanderthals and Homo sapiens must have interacted with each other during this period. This interaction is theorized to have led to the transfer of oral microbes between the species. Such a transfer could have occurred through various means, including shared food sources, similar environmental conditions, or even direct personal contact. These findings prompted a re-evaluation of the narrative of human history and interaction. The prevailing view had been that Neanderthals and Homo sapiens had limited contact with each other, with interactions primarily occurring in the Middle East and parts of Europe. However, the discovery of this shared microbe suggests a more widespread and possibly more frequent interaction between the two species. The study also highlights the importance of microbial exchange in understanding human evolution. The sharing of microbes is a form of genetic exchange that can occur independently of direct reproduction. It provides evidence of close physical proximity and interaction, which is crucial for understanding the dynamics between different human species in the prehistoric world. The microbial exchange between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens significantly challenges earlier assumptions about the evolutionary separation and isolation of these species. The shared oral microbe suggests a more nuanced scenario where interactions were more common and possibly more complex than mere territorial overlaps. This microbial exchange implies scenarios where Neanderthals and Homo sapiens not only coexisted, but also engaged in close physical contact. Such interactions could range from sharing food and resources to more intimate social behaviors. This challenges the long-held view of Neanderthals as a completely separate and isolated group and suggests a degree of cultural and social integration with early modern humans that was previously underestimated. The study of oral microbiota also opens a new dimension in understanding human history, particularly in terms of tracing migrations and interactions. The analysis of ancient oral microbiota can reveal migration patterns as changes in diet and environment, often reflected in the microbiome, can be linked to movements of populations. For instance, a significant shift in the oral microbiome could indicate a change in geographical location or dietary habits, often accompanying migration or cultural exchange. This exchange can include sharing of food resources, common habitation areas, or even interpersonal relationships. By examining the microscopic remnants of food particles and the composition of oral bacteria, the research has provided concrete evidence of what Neanderthals ate, ranging from meat to plant-based foods, and even insights into medicinal practices. This detailed dietary profile helps to dispel many of the myths surrounding Neanderthals, particularly the stereotype of them being predominantly brutish carnivores. The varied diet suggests a complex understanding of their environment and resource utilization, reflecting a level of sophistication. 
the shared oral microbe, with its genetic divergence occurring much later than the last common ancestor, indicates a level of contact and exchange between the two species that goes beyond mere coexistence. This interaction, inferred from the microbial evidence, suggests a scenario where Neanderthals and early modern humans shared not just landscapes, but also food, knowledge, and potentially even cultural practices. It positions Neanderthals not as isolated, but as an integral part of the human story, with their own unique contributions and interactions with Homo sapiens. It underscores the interconnectedness of various human species throughout history and the shared journey that has shaped the development of both. In conclusion, the 2017 study on Neanderthal dental plaque has been a significant milestone in paleoanthropology. It has not only expanded our knowledge about Neanderthals, but also redefined how we perceive their relationship with Homo sapiens, offering fresh perspectives on the intricate tapestry of human evolution. This research exemplifies how modern scientific techniques can unlock secrets from our ancient past, continually reshaping our understanding of where we come from and how our ancestors lived and interacted. Please like and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching.